Hi there, I'm Shannon Keebler with Empower Consulting, and you're about to watch the video for kindergarten and first grade routines. Keep in mind for kindergarten teachers, if you're in the new 2018 version, this changes for you come unit four. And if you're in the first grade 2018 version, this changes for you per unit. Otherwise, these videos are applicable to all other copyrights. Enjoy the video and be sure to subscribe or like the video when you're finished. Start, we're going to start with kindergarten. Remember that kindergarten is going to add one every day because kindergarten can keep this routine all year long and they can keep track of the number of days of school. Uh, there is a second poster that goes to 240. Whereas first grade is going to add three, four, or five every day and you're going to add more numbers so that we're regrouping more often. Um, and so in that case, you will not be using this to keep track of the numbers of days, uh, days in school. And so I'll share the differences as we go. So, kindergartners, are you ready? Here we go. Boys and girls, what was yesterday's number? Class? 24. Boys and girls, we're going to add one more. If I add one more to 24, my new total is, everybody? 25. That's right. Boys and girls, today's number is 25. Did we make a new 10? Think about it. Class? No. No, we did not make a new 10. Boys and girls, show me on your chest how many more until we make a new 10. How many more? Two more, three more, boys and girls, how many more until we make a new 10? Class? Five. Five, that's right, five more until we make a new 10 because we know that five plus five equals 10. Boys and girls, let's count to 25. I want you to count slowly with me. Don't count faster than my pointer can point. And when we get to a 10, I want you to clap nice and loud. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Boys and girls, let's do our finger flashes. Remember, you're going to finger flash the tens on your left and the ones on your right. Ready? Ten, twenty. Freeze. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Nice job, kindergartners. You can sit down. Boys and girls, we're going to um, write our new total. Ready? Our new total for today is 25 equals 20 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ones. Boys and girls, would you read this equation with me? 25 equals 20 plus 5. Nice job. Okay, so I'm going to pause here for just a minute. If we were doing first grade, you would not have just added one more. You would have added 3, 4, 5. So you would have said today's number is 24. Let's add 3 more. 1, 2, 3. Today's number is 27. So in kindergarten, we add one more. So we're counting on each day. And in first grade, we add several more. The other thing you're going to see is when we do make a 10, we're going to put a bracket around that column to signify it as a 10. You notice that I have in blue, I've made a 10 stick through my numbers and through my circles. Your teacher's guides will tell you to just erase all of those circles so that students can very clearly see the numbers. This is a teacher preference. Um, I like when I keep my, my one circles and my 10 stick because it's showing kids very clearly that that is a 10 stick and that's how we're drawing them for future quantity drawings. Okay, so then we're going to come over here and we have our um, secret code cards. Boys and girls, today's number is what? 25. 25 is the same as, everyone, 20 plus 5 equals 25. Let's turn it over and let's prove it. Ready? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So this part of the routine is actually a first grade routine. This is the blue secret code cards, demonstration cards. In kindergarten, you would use your giant number cards instead of these cards. The giant yellow number cards in kindergarten are similar to the secret code cards. They have both the front and the back, but are giant and yellow. Okay, so our next routine is going to be the counting tens and ones flip chart. Boys and girls, yesterday's number was 24. What was yesterday's number? Class? 24. Boys and girls, let's add one more. Boys and girls, did I make a new 10? Think about it. Class? 
No. no, I did not make a new tent. Boys and girls, how many more until we make a new tent? Put the answer on your chest. Do you think there's two more, three more, four more? How many more? Class? Five. Five. That's right. We have five more because five plus five equals ten. Five plus five more equals ten. Ready? Say the equation with me. Five plus five equals ten. Nice job. Boys and girls, let's count to our new total. This time we're going to count by tens. Ready? Ten, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Nice job. Our new total, let's write our new equation. Ready? Say it with me. 10 plus 10 plus 5 equals 25. Okay, so boys and girls, we have one more part of this routine. We're going to add the number path. All right, boys and girls, yesterday's number was 24. What was yesterday's number, class? 24. Boys and girls, we're going to add 24 today, and we're going to add one more. We know our answer is 25. Let's do a proof picture. Ready? 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, plus one more. Let's count together. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And our number's balanced. Okay, so let's talk about a few differences. On this chart, you're going to see that you have the tabs that are hanging out in the back. Kindergarten, you never flip those tabs over. So if we were to be here and we had five dots, I could pull over the five if I'm in first grade. Um, usually around month three, you can flip over that five, but in kindergarten, we don't want to flip over those tabs because we want conservation of number. We want kids to see those 10 over and over and over again and to know that there's 10 in each column. So in first grade, you can start flipping them over when you know all of your students know that when I put a five here, there are five dots behind that. But if you have some kids that are questioning it and you say how many dots are behind here and they don't remember that it's five, then keep them uncovered. So now we have five, and when I got another five, I could have traded those in for two fives, and then I asked my students, if I have two fives, I can trade that in for a 10. So again, remember that kindergarten, you're gonna leave these all uncovered, and in first grade, you can start covering them when uh, you think your kids have that concept. Um, we're gonna make our 10 every place. The uh, last part of the routine is the number path routine. This is only in first and second grade. Kindergarten, you would not use this particular routine. Uh, you're only going to do the counting tens and ones flip chart, your giant number cards, and the 120 poster.